Today I'm going to talk about the fiddle leaf fig or FLF, also known as Ficus lyrata. It's a beautiful plant, but let's be honest. The problem often is that your fiddle leaf fig care results in this leaf drop. And also, there's a lot of different information on the web uh, how you care for a fiddle leaf fig. There's even people that say that you should shake your fiddle leaf fig every day so the stem gets thicker and your plant gets healthier. Today we're going to talk about every aspect of fiddle leaf fig care. I'm just going to say FLF uh, going forward. Soil. So the FLF prefers well-draining soil. What is well-draining soil? It's soil where air pockets are present. Because air pockets allow uh, roots to get oxygen and this is really what helps the FLF to thrive. Also look for a slightly exotic soil, add some sand to it if uh, possible. Moving on to lighting and this is really where a lot goes wrong with the FLF. The FLF needs bright filtered sun or uh, at least bright indirect sunlight. So what is that actually? So it's not a bright direct sunlight where the uh, sun is shining on the leaves constantly. Uh, the FLF can take a couple of hours of bright direct sunlight, but not for extended hours. So like three to four hours is perfect. Usually you get that from, in, from an eastern facing window. Also a western facing window is, uh, is fine. Eastern is preferred because then the uh, direct sunlight is in the morning time and it will certainly not hurt the leaves of your FLF. Unfortunately, all too often I see FLFs in uh, dark places and dark corners and this is when you're going to see uh, the leaves drop. The FLF doesn't like that at all because the FLF is a plant from West Africa. It grows from Cameroon to Sierra Leone and certainly these are uh, countries where it's quite warm. Don't place it in a dark corner because the leaves are going to drop. I can certainly guarantee you that. All right, so you know the perfect lighting for your FLF now and uh, just now just make it happen moving on to uh, the temperature so temperatures the flf prefers temperatures between 65 to 75 degrees fahrenheit that's about 18 to 24 degrees celsius just make sure you never go below 50 degrees fahrenheit which equals to 10 degrees uh, celsius last winter i had an episode where my fiddle leaf fig uh, had really low temperatures. It just resulted in blackening of the leaves and again leaf drop because these plants need to be in a constant temperature and they prefer warm temperatures. Just make sure they don't get too cold and you are uh, fine. Let's move on to humidity. So this is a plant from Western Africa. It's also a, a tropical plant. It actually prefers high humidity or at least uh, medium hum humidity. So whenever you hear that, it's humidity above 50%. So if possible, keep the uh, humidity above 50% and everything is fine. Propagation. Also, this is a topic where I hear a lot of uh, wrong stuff. Like some people say you can propagate a fiddle leaf fig from just a leaf. Well, the problem is it's not going to work. I've seen leaves uh, that have been put into water and they will actually start to grow roots. Everything looks great and you think you're going to grow a new plant, but it will stay at growing roots and nothing else is going to happen because you can't propagate a fiddle leaf fig from just the leaf. But how do you actually propagate a fiddle leaf fig? There's two ways, or basically it's uh, mainly the same way, it's stem cuttings. The problem with uh, stem cuttings is whenever you have a plant that is really woody and the FLF uh, is a real tree, it gets very woody stems and it's going to be harder and harder to propagate such a plant. But uh, still, you can propagate it from stem cuttings, so you just take a snap, a snip, a snap, and you cut uh, your uh, fiddly fig apart. Usually you take a top cutting and you can then place that into water and within, within like three or four weeks or even more, you will start to uh, see roots growing. Yeah, that's how you uh, propagate a fiddly fig. The other option to propagate a fiddly fig is uh, to use the air layering method. It's mainly the same method, but you just try to root the uh, FLF before you take the cutting. So you almost, um, 
yeah, you can say you root the uh, cutting when it's still on the plant. Uh, you just um, make a, uh, a cutting, uh, you can wrap um, sphagnum moss around it and a uh, clinch uh, foil, you keep that humid and roots will start to grow. And once you have uh, several inches of uh, root growth, you can just then take off the cutting and put it into soil or, um, or water to uh, root it even more and uh, you will have a new plant. This is actually how you propagate a fiddly fig. It ha it's done um, quite frequently and it's not really difficult, but you just need to know that you can't use a single leaf because it won't work at all. Moving on to uh, growth. So how big can a fiddle leaf uh, fig grow and how fast is it growing? In nature, these plants can grow up to 50 even 60 feet, imagine that. I mean, yeah, there are real trees and they can grow really, really tall. At home, you shouldn't expect more than 10 feet or maybe a little bit more. But um, let's be honest, uh, if you reach 10 feet, um, you most definitely already reach the ceiling of your apartment or house. So uh, I think um, they grow tall enough. And also like how fast is a fiddly leaf fig uh, growing? It can grow several inches. Uh, every growing season. So growing season is from spring to summer. If you uh, water it the right way, if it has a lot of sunlight, it's growing several inches every growing season. And it's just a pleasure to watch. And as you can see here, the leaves are growing bigger and bigger. It starts with really small leaves and they're going to grow really, really big. I just love the look of these uh, leaves. They are so prehistoric looking. Um, I, I have to show you. These leaves are just amazing. Look at this uh, structure, and they—they are—they are really sturdy. So I always love if plants have these thick leaves. Just great to touch them and uh, look at them, and this uh, healthy, nice green. Just unfortunately, FLF care is really difficult, and. Uh, more often than not, you will see a couple of leaves uh, drop and also browning of the leaves. So what does that actually mean? Um, yeah, going into FLF problems, uh, I would say. So what does browning of FLF uh, leaves mean? If the browning is at the bottom, usually it means that you might have root rot. So you might have watered too much uh, or you might have watered too often. If the uh, soil is still like soaking wet, you should um, put your um, index finger in it and check. So if it's soaking wet, uh, just take out all the dirt and uh, repot your FLF, disinfect the, uh, the pot and make sure that you snip off all the roots that are already rotted because this can quickly uh, kill your plant. Yeah, other reasons are uh, bacterial infections. Always, if you have a plant with really beautiful big uh, foliage, like if water is accumulating, the humidity is too high, if there's not sufficient airflow, you might end up with uh, bacterial problems on your, uh, on your uh, leaves. Uh, what you can do there is you can use copper spray to uh, prevent that and um, hopefully you will be uh, fine. But um, quite often you see leaves that are infected by um, bacteria, unfortunately. So and I said it in the beginning, what about this uh, shaking method? I think it actually works. I, I haven't tried it with mine, but I will certainly uh, do it like every other day uh, because it, it is said to imitate the, the wind. So whenever you shake it and usually like if you have wind and ventilation, your plants are getting stronger because they're constantly shaking and they're um, the, the stems almost have no other option than getting uh, thicker and stronger. So uh, actually shaking the FLF might help. And you see uh, mine, uh, it can hardly stand. And uh, I wouldn't mind a thicker stem for this one. Potting. Yeah, uh, I haven't talked about potting yet. Uh, how do you pot and where do you pot and when do you pot and how often do you pot? That's a lot of questions. Well. The most important thing is that you should repot uh, your fiddly fig every year because it, it grows quite uh, vigorously and uh, it has a um, great uh, root system. So every year should repot your fiddle leaf uh, fig plant because otherwise it can get root and pot bound and you should just add new media and uh, an inch or two um, bigger in, in size so your plant can continue to grow 
uh, healthy and will grow big and tall, hopefully to 60 feet. Fertilizer, yeah, fertilizer is important. Uh, you should fertilize all your plants. Uh, usually you fertilize mainly in the growing season, as I mentioned already. It's uh, spring and summer and it's um, the same for your uh, fiddle leaf uh, fig tree. You should fertilize every second uh, week, so bi-weekly. In uh, autumn and winter you should uh, either not fertilize at all or only fertilize once a month and you're, you're fine. You can choose uh, a, a general purpose uh, fertilizer. I prefer a, a NPK 3 to 1 because it gives the uh, FLF all the nutrients it needs. Usually what I'm using is a, a liquid fertilizer because the big advantage with liquid fertilizer is that you can exactly measure um, how much you're giving your plant. You can also use a, a slow release fertilizer because there you have the big advantage that you do it once and it may last uh, from between three to six months, which is uh, really great, but you don't know how much uh, your plant is actually draining from these uh, nutrients or how many, many nutrients it's uh, getting at a time. But both, of course, is possible. I'm using the liquid fertilizer method and this is where these uh, every two weeks applies. Pests. Uh, fortunately, I haven't had any uh, houseplant pests or pests in general. I mean, there's no houseplant pests and not houseplant pests, but I haven't had any uh, pests on uh, this one so far. So, um, knock on wood here, uh, but usually I, uh, but I assume like the general pests, the mealy bugs, the thrips, and uh, all these uh, nasty pests uh, might attack your fiddle leaf fig uh, as well. So yeah, this is uh, everything I wanted to share with you about fiddle leaf uh, fig uh, care. I would love to know how you care for your fiddle leaf uh, fig. If you uh, like this video, please give it an actual like follow our channel and um, most importantly hit the notification bell so whenever a new video is coming out you are informed and uh, you can watch the video and thank you so much for watching this time and hopefully see you again soon this was daniel from plantophiles